Good day, hey, hi, and welcome. Sap. What's up, Gazoo? He's like, I don't care. Hey, my beautiful. There is my PRS Mark Holcomb 7 string. Boy, am I ever digging and loving this guitar. Somebody told me, you always got to take the, the bird's eye view from the top down of the bird's eye. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Hopefully that's working for you guys. Yeah. Let's go this way too. We'll go from the bottom up. Technically, it's not the bottom. Technically, the, the this this side and that side of the guitar are the sides of the guitar. That's the top and that's the bottom. Maybe we got our terminology. There's that awesome bridge. Uh, really digging this guitar. Uh, this guitar is absolutely incredible. Right? But it looks lonely, doesn't it? You know, just lying there like that. Looks kind of lonely. Where did my cat go? Where did my cat? Yeah. But I give you. Probably one of the last guitars I'll be buying for a while. I introduced you an even more incredible guitar. Looks softly similar. What kind of trickery is going on here? You just showed me this guitar. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. How did it go from there to here? Wait, there's something different. It's missing something. Hey, this one only has six strings. Da, 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 plot thickens. Do, 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 do. Anyway, yeah, you saw what I did, you know. Gotta add drama to the show. So, let, let's just jump into this. What are you looking at? Oh, look at, look at that finish. You are looking at a PRS, once again, uh, SE Mark Holcomb Signature Series Guitar. I thought we already looked at a Mark Holcomb Signature Series Guitar. Well, we did, but we're looking at another one. And yeah, this is the six string variant. Uh, there's a few versions of this variant. Um, there's, I think this is like, this is not, this is the, not the latest generation, but one generation before. The differences are in the burst and in the nut and in the actual logo, where the earlier versions have the Mark Holcomb here and PRS here, uh, PRS SE here or something like that. Uh, this is the newer style which I, I don't know which one I'd like better, but um, one thing is if you're not a Mark Holcomb fan, I'm, I like the guy, I've never met him or really like that. Um, not the biggest periphery fan, but I do love, love, love the way he plays, I love the sounds he's getting. Uh, you can remove this, you know, so it's kind of cool that they put it there. You know, so people just want the Paul Reed Smith, but I'd like to see a big PRS on there, something just, you know, just really make it really loud, right? But it's tastefully done no matter how you look at it. And then of course you got the, you know, the dove inlays, and then you got your hawk at the 12th fret. Dove again, dove again, dove again, turtle. <laughs> that last one looks like a turtle. Nobody, I, I don't know, you tell me, does it look like a turtle? Anyway, it's very interesting how they put those inlays in. Like, for example, my cat has to go outside. That's very interesting too. Today, you're stalling the video. Today. Come on, let's move, scoot. Boot, boot, there you go. It's nice out, but it's actually, uh, the wind's cold. So anyway, we'll, we'll do the specs first, and I'll keep, I keep an eye on the time. Mahogany body, quilted maple uh, net, uh, top, which depending on what angle you look at this from, it's different every time you look at it from a different angle, it's just, I don't know if the camera can do it justice. Uh, black with the Holcomb burst. Black on the back, and I'll show you the back. Mark Holcomb's signature bridge, which every PRS should have one of the, the this is really good. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video, you know, comparing bridges or whatever, but I really like these bridges. Black gold, which I love. I mean, the black gold, I really love. Mark Holcomb Signature Series Seamer Duncan pickups. I don't know if you can see the Seamer Duncan on there. Uh, Alpha Omega, same as the seven string, except for the six string variant. 24 fret, ebony fingerboard. This ebony fingerboard is really nice. Uh, it's even nicer than the seven string. Again, splitting hairs. The amazing satin finished, wet sanded, uh, these are the smoothest necks of any guitars I've ever played in history, period. And I've played, guys, so many, like you can't even feel the binding 
where the binding and the uh, you can't feel the edge of the frets at all. Can't feel where the binding meets the uh, the 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 neck at all. It's just it's absolutely incredible. Best neck I've uh, smoothest necks I've ever played. The only thing that comes close to it for smoothness is the Gibson Les Paul Jimmy Page reissue. That one had an extremely smooth neck, but even it's not that smooth. And that was a forty-eight hundred dollar guitar. This guitar is not. This guitar bang for the buck is really good. Uh, large strap tuners. Sometimes people ask me about the strap tuners. Yeah. And your standard PRS tuners. Uh, I guess we'll have a look at them. Why not? It says PRS on them. And yeah, that's there. Very, very, very uh, set neck. String through body construction. But uh, yeah, we're going to talk about something a little bit before we get back into the guitar here. I love doing these tabletops. I ordered also a bunch of these pickups. I was trying to replace this big thunker right here, which believe it or not, my eight string and seven string guitars actually wear this. I've had this pick for five years and I got another set. These are the two point uh, two. That, I think that's like three millimeter pick. This is a 2.5. I thought I was buying that again, but uh, I ended up getting these. These I like. I like, this is the first one I'm wearing out. Uh, very nice pick. I like them a little bit better than the Jazz 2s, I think. And we got a strap here. Why is there a strap here? Plot thickens. Da, da, da. Oh, geez, that bird feeder is really swinging. And my cat is probably wants to come back in. So it's too windy out there. Sorry, interruption cat. The plot thickens even more with a mystery commercial of let the cat in. You coming back in? The how would you then? All right, so, okay, so. Ooh, that's cold. So anyway, this guitar, as beautiful as it is, let's do the top down. Oh, look at that, look at that. I'm very proud of myself, you know. I work hard for these guitars. Yeah, it'll take me a little while to pay them off, but they're not that bad. Uh, like the monthlies on this is just on my credit card. So as long as I can make my credit card payment, I'm good. The only thing I noticed about this guitar is it collects static dust so quick. Any sort of black guitar does that, right? But this guitar, I hate to tell you, it's not perfect. No, it's not perfect. There's, there's, there's something about it. Yeah, and uh, we'll get into that. There's only two things I found. I've been playing this guitar for about three days. Now. Look at that burst. But why is this strap here? See, stereo strap, instrument strap. But why is it here? I didn't order that. All right, so here's the deal. This guitar probably arrived at, uh, I'll give the store a shout out. These guys have been fantastic with me. Oh, and it also, if you haven't noticed, it comes with the bag. Yeah, we'll have a look at the bag. We won't get too crazy with it. Uh, exactly same as the seven string bag. It's a gig bag. It's a nice gig bag. It's, it's, it's fairly well padded and stuff. But if you're going to go on tour, I would definitely recommend a hard shell case. Get that, get that dust, you stupid dust, you get off my beautiful guitar. Stay off, stay off. I'll never be able to keep this guitar clean, never. Um, okay, so let's rewind. This guitar, okay, was the guitar I was gonna get as a seven string, and because it was a seven string. And I had made the conclusion about two years ago that this was probably the best seven string on the market. Look at that finish. Okay, so I made the conclusion that it was probably the best seven string recipe wise, meaning what it was made of with the mahogany body, the ebony fingerboard, bang for the buck. And the 20 degree radius fretboard, the 26 and a half inch scale, it fit all, it, it fit the bill for everything I wanted to do with it, right? But then I had decided to say, screw the seven string, let's jump right to the eight string. And that I did do, and I don't regret it. But then this guitar, uh, which was out of stock for over a year, pretty much all across Canada. Uh, nobody had one, no one knew when it was coming in, plus all the crazy events going on around the world. Uh, guitars and amps and all that stuff are, were pretty much hard to get, right? But then about three months ago, well, maybe not quite three months, well, maybe two and a half months ago, this guitar came in stock at the Arts Music Store and they have another one, they have two of them there. This one was the one in the box, unplayed, and they have one on the floor. 
And so I'll, they gave me the option. Do you want the one on the floor or the one in the, in the box? I took the one in the box. And then uh, Long & McQuaid, I think, has this one and the natural finished one uh, in their warehouse. Other than that, I can't find them anywhere else in Canada. I'm not saying we will never get them again, but you might not be able to get this burst again because the new one's coming out with that blue burst, which someday I'll hopefully have those seven and six string blue bursts as well. Look at that. So I bought that, right? About literally a month ago. I better lie that thing down. And I can't put it down. This is vastly becoming, it's not the easiest guitar in the world to play because of the scale length, but it is vastly becoming my favorite guitar. I love the baritone sound. It's a, the baritone sound has been the sound I've been looking for my entire life and I didn't even know it. Um, it's still in standard tuning and I like it in standard tuning and it just does everything. You know, I can't, I can't say enough about that guitar. So why is this sitting here? Plot thickens. Let's go to the second video and we'll find out. Da, da, da. Look at that. Look at that. 